Hey everyone, welcome back to my Crypto.com Crypto 101 series. I'm really excited for today's episode in regards to Uniswap, right? a Uniswap tutorial. And not only that, Crypto.com has us covered because they have a built-in swap on their website. We also can use their DeFi wallet to make it easier. A lot of people struggle to understand how to use Uniswap, how to exchange tokens. So I'm here to make it a nice, simple breakdown for you guys. And I hope you find this useful. Let's get into it, you guys. Uh, so first off, I just pulled up the Play Store and I'm going to download the Crypto.com wallet. And it's going to be the DeFi wallet, just like this. I'm going to hit install. And we'll see how fast it takes to download. Not very long at all. And I'm gonna open that up. All right, so I'm going to create a new wallet. Yep, you know, of course, I always read the terms uh, and conditions in full. I did that before the video so it wouldn't waste so much time, okay? So yeah, you know, of course, make sure you read all the disclaimers. All right, so of course, I'm going to create a passcode. Here we go. And I can enable two-factor authentication later. I would highly recommend that for a security feature using Google 2FA. If you haven't used that before, um, any crypto account, you should be protecting with that. It's just an extra security feature. And not only that, if you do it on a device that's offline, like another phone um, that is already offline, then it's just an even extra security feature. So go to next. What is a recovery phrase? It's the master private key to your wallet. All right, so you're going to get a recovery phrase and that is what's going to help you reload this wallet should you uninstall the app or need to install your, your wallet on a different device. All right, and what that's going to consist of is 12 different words. It's gonna be really random words like couch, tree, um, obligatory, like it's literally just going to be a bunch of random words and you want to write them down offline on a piece of paper or something um, that you won't lose and you need to remember the order that these are in as well. Um, so I'm going to reveal my recovery phrase. All right, and I'm going to write these down. And while I'm writing these down, I just want to remind you guys that you should never share this passcode with anybody else on any secondary websites or anything. You should keep this offline. Don't send it to random customer service people, scammers that are trying to trick you. Um, keep this private. Only use it when you're trying to log in directly to this wallet app um, or, the, or the website and you went there manually on your own, not through links or anything. All right, you really need to protect your security. So now that I've gotten those all written down, it's going to ask me to confirm them. And you can see here they are completely odd random words. Okay, so backup is completed. Maybe later. All right, so I can choose a name for my wallet. We'll just name it Nebraskan Gooner. There we go. All right, I can select an avatar. The 24-7 trader, why not? That sounds fitting and confirm. All right, so now that I've got my wallet set up, this is a secured wallet that I can deposit cryptocurrency and NFTs into to keep them safe. Now, what's really cool is I can actually link this to my crypto.com app to be able to transfer money in here easily. So I'm going to click on the top of the screen and I'm going to connect to the crypto.com app. Connect. Nebraska and Gooner, send connection email, and I will receive that email with how to proceed. So I just received the email and I'm going to hit connect. All right, so once I've entered my password and I'm going to authorize and launch DeFi wallet. And connection successful, awesome. Now, if you've missed my previous video on how to buy and sell, make sure to check that out. Now, once you have your account loaded with fiat or crypto, you can transfer it easily over to the crypto.com DeFi wallet. So I'm just gonna hit transfer and withdraw, and then I'm gonna go to crypto, and you can see here it actually says the crypto.com DeFi wallet. So I click on that, 
And let's just send crypto.com coin over there. And I'll just send a hundred over. So we're gonna click that. And you can see it's 0.001 fee, which is awesome. Nice cheap fee. We don't like high fees to send crypto. All right, so now I need to enter my six digit verification code on my 2FA device. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bam, easy peasy. I also sent some Ethereum here. If you're using Uniswap, it is on the Ethereum network. So you're gonna need to make sure that you have Ethereum in your account for gas fees. I did do that from an external wallet, but you can also do it from the crypto.com app the same way as the crypto.com token. Um, but if you want to do it from an outside source, you're just gonna hit receive and then choose whatever asset you want to receive copy that address and then send it over from the other wallet. The moment you've all been waiting for, Uniswap time. If you're unfamiliar with this, you're gonna go to uniswap.org. Do not connect any wallets to anything other than official websites. When you connect to a wallet, you give it permission to basically utilize the funds in your wallet. So make sure you're only connecting to trusted platforms. It's very easy to get scammed and have your money taken if you connect to a scammy website. So you can see here, I just launched the app. I'm going to hit connect wallet, wallet connect, connect, open with DeFi wallet. And yes, I'm going to connect here. And it says I am connected. So now that I'm connected, you can see that my wallet is connected in the top of the screen there. And you can see the Ethereum in my wallet. I have 0.0811 Ethereum to swap with. And also I have this little gear thing here. Well, this gear is going to let me affect my slippage. Now it's always set to auto, which is really low. Um, but if you do like 10%, some low cap, low market cap tokens will need a higher slippage tolerance, all right? Which means that if you buy $1,000 worth with a 10% slippage, you may only get about $900 back in that token. So please be aware that some of the low market cap assets will have slippage parameters. Um, you won't be able to buy very much of some of these without having slippage. And I've had to go up to as much as 15% slippage on these before. Uh, but do make sure once you have done that transaction, you need to go back into your wallet and you need to put the slippage back down to either auto or less than 1%. I usually do 0.5% at, at the max. Because if you don't do that, then you're gonna get front run by bots that are literally set up to take advantage of your slippage. So when you would normally not have slippage on a higher market, market cap asset, uh, you're gonna have these bots that are gonna be buying and selling in front of your orders and they're gonna be basically draining money from you. So basically what I can do is I'm going to swap for my Ethereum or I could swap from any other token if I had Bitcoin in here or USDC or Tether, um, anything that I have in my wallet, I can swap for another asset. So of course I have Ethereum here. I can't swap the max because I still need room for gas fees. So I can try to swap 0.04 Ethereum for whichever token I choose. Now, if the token is not available on here, let's say I search for a token and it's not available on the list, I can go manually add it. And how I do that is I can just go to CoinGecko, search for whatever token I want, and I'm gonna hit show info, and I'm gonna copy the address, the contract address to my clipboard, okay? So then when I go back over here, I can actually paste that contract address in, and it's going to give me that token. I can import it, import, and bam. Now I can swap Ethereum, 0.04 Ethereum, for 250 crypto.com tokens. So I'm gonna hit swap, and you can see the transaction details are here, and I'm going to confirm that swap. It's going to ask me to confirm that transaction. Okay, and you can see here, transaction amount 0.04th, network fee is 0.02th, um, so the total amount is 0.06th. So that's a high transaction fee for this small amount of a transaction. Um, you're gonna notice that sometimes it's not worth doing smaller transactions on here. 
Um, but again, a lot of times we're using Uniswap to get in on some really low market cap uh, assets. So if I'm paying a 10 or a 20% fee on my transaction, but I'm getting you know a possible two, three, four, five hundred percent return, then starting with smaller amounts can be worth it to an extent. And then once you you know have built up your funds a little bit, then you're using less percentage of your funds for fees. So I'm gonna hit confirm here. And Uniswap interface is connected. So I pull back up my browser, transaction has been submitted. I'm going to close. And you can see at the top of my screen that transaction is pending. And sometimes it can take a while, uh, you know, a couple minutes, uh, especially if the network is backed up. And also you'll notice that sometimes your fees are gonna be higher and sometimes they're gonna be lower. So for me personally, I know that in the evening time, like late evening, late night time in the US, that the gas fees for transactions are gonna be lower. Um, so if I'm really looking to, you know, do a conversion, I may wait a little bit longer until fees are lower. Um, that way I can save a few bucks. And if you click on it, you can see that it's pending. I'm swapping 0.04 ETH for 250 crow. And as soon as that swap is over, it's going to show up in my balance down here on the swap screen. And then once that shows up, I could swap back from crow to Ethereum if I want to. I could swap that crypto.com token to a different coin. I could swap Ethereum into a different token. Uh, so you really have a lot of options here for what you can do. All right, you can see the transaction is complete. It lets me know up here. And you can see that my F balance is now a little bit lower and my crypto.com balance is now at 250. You can also do this on your web browser. You're just gonna go to crypto.com and go to swap. Now, if you're in the US, it's going to say not available in your region. Uh, so if you are in the United States, you technically cannot use this. Now, if you have a VPN or you're not in the United States, it will show up like this. All right, so you will connect to a wallet just like we did with Uniswap, and it's going to work the exact same way. You can pick tokens, you can swap, um, you can obviously pool them and things like that, but that's a little bit more advanced. Um, but this is going to work the exact same way that Uniswap did. The interface is pretty much the same. You're gonna have your settings up here uh, for slippage. But the convenient thing is uh, for crypto.com, they just have everything in one place for us. I really hope you guys found this video useful and you can start taking advantage of token swaps. If you like this video, please retweet it on Twitter to help out others who maybe are struggling with the same issues. Also give it a nice big thumbs up on YouTube. I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time.